Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how can we change the chart grouping based on the towel widget. Like when we are selecting the industry, it will get grouped by the industry. When we are selecting the country, chart will get grouped by the chart. When we are selecting the product family, it will get grouped by the product family. So this is working based on the selection interactions. Okay, let's see how can we achieve this. Let's create the new dashboard. Let's name it as Travel Grouping. Let's create the new query for storing the toggle widget values. First grouping, let's add industry, let's add the column name, let's select the type as text. Let's modify this column name to the value. Let's add the e field API name as industry. And the next level of grouping, let's add the product family. Let's give the field API name product underscore family. Here we can leave it as product family okay so we have added the two level of grouping let's modify this to the double category let's click done let's add the toggle widget so now we have added the industry and the product family Let's add the chart. Let's select the TTC opportunity data set. And let's uh, group it by industry. Let's change this to the sum of the amount. Let's modify the chart type to the donut chart. Let's change the chart name to let's click done. Let's save it. Let's preview it. So when we are selecting industry, nothing is happening. When we are selecting product family, nothing is happening because we have it linked toggle widget with the donut chart. Let's link by using the selection binding. Let's change this size. Okay, let's modify this interactions. For modifying interaction, we can select the chart widget and we can select the advanced editor and select the query. Query is from toggle category and we are selecting the data from the 0 to 1. We are selecting the data. We need value. There only we have stored the API name and this is the selection interaction. And uh, let's set the default value to the industry grouping and the as string. Let, this is the interaction which is interaction query that is formatted by using that we can get to the double value let's copy this and let's go to the query section we need to find out where the grouping is happening here is the grouping happening let's remove the industry let's add our dynamic expression okay and apart from that we need to modify the widget property also we need to find the column map and we need to modify it to the columns then only widget will get changed dynamically. So let's remove this. Let's modify this column map to the columns. Then empty array. If you are not changing the column map to the column, this grouping will not get applied properly. Let's save this. Let's save it. So now we have 
binded the toggle widget under the chart let's see how it works now let's select industry so it is grouped by industry let's select product family now we can see it is in grouped by the product family so this is how we can toggle the grouping by using the selection binding grouped interactions thanks for watching the video